welcome back to my channel why my face looks so <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel hello loves welcome back to my channel it's a new video today as you can see by the title of the video what we're going to talk about today right so let's get into today's video remember to like comment share and subscribe <laughs> okay so purchasing a car jeez cheer shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up all right so purchasing a car in jamaica i purchased a car in 2019 so of course i have an idea i have a pretty good idea of what is the process of the process i did the whole process and all that so it's giving me a bit of some insights some information on all of that right okay hmm. so when i made up my mind i decided what i wanted i know the type of car that i wanted i researched it there are lots of things that you look into when you're buying a car does the car suit you you know do you like the car or not um does it have good resale value that's important if you decide to sell your car like a couple years later you don't want to know that you spend three million dollars on the car and then when you go to sell it back you're getting for like a million dollar or three hundred thousand managers you know like yeah so you want to ensure that the vehicle that you're buying it has good resale value also you need to look at the what do you say how well it uses gas right you don't want to say you are going stuck in a traffic and yeah go run out of gas or you have long way to go you have to spend a lot of money on on fuel you don't want to be doing that okay yes in a vehicle can be an asset if you rent it out we'll get into that maybe but it's a liability you spend money it doesn't appreciate in value it depreciates in value so over time the value decreases so if you spend 300 it's not a home if you spend three million on a house where is that now it's not like three years down the line it's going to be um the, the house can be worth six million ten million dollars um while a vehicle is depreciates it, the value decreases so you it, the resale value would be less so when i decided that i was going to purchase a vehicle right i knew what i wanted i looked at the resale value so what i like look at resale value is it good with fuel fuel economy does it have good fuel economy <laughs> oh gosh what <laughs> is it good on fuel right you need to know that the parts aren't expensive because you need to understand when people think of buying a car all they think about is the money to buy the car and that's it that's not it that's not all there is so we'll get to that go back to what i was saying so when i decided to buy a car i looked at all of that i knew what i wanted i knew what i liked and no one could stop me from doing that i also had a goal in mind okay so my goal was that okay hmm, i want to own a house right in a few years time or at a certain age and i know that i don't want to be paying mortgage on a house and mortgage on a vehicle i didn't want to be doing that so i'm like hmm, a car takes less time to pay back right and a home takes longer so i said okay let me work this out I'm going to purchase a car first so I'm saying by the time I finish paying off the vehicle all the expenses would be less so that I can put the money that I had on the car on the house you understand that's what I thought of it so I'm like okay so I have five years to pay off this vehicle and after five years yeah focus on the house and I don't have that expense and I have less expense to pay to deal with with the vehicle that's how I looked at it and I made up my mind and I decided it and I went ahead and I 
search no for vehicles out here car dealerships out here that had that same vehicle and I shopped around for the best price regarding um, car loan and so the best place was a bank I shall not name them <laughs> they're not sponsoring me I shall not name name you but yes they had the best price and so I you know I asked a lot of questions I asked a lot of is my money and I'm paying for it and I asked a lot of questions they needed a lot of things um, when it came to the whole process of you know acquiring the vehicle so you need to communicate with the dealership and the and the bank you know the yeah or the financial institution that loaning you with the money you have to look at it this way as well that with the bank that i had it depends right so if the vehicle is new a new vehicle have a lower interest rate than an older vehicle a newer vehicle would say oh, we're in the year 2023 so a new vehicle would be considered 2022 and a 2023 vehicle that's what they consider new. i'm not sure if 2021 would be in there but i know 2022 and 2023 are considered new vehicles and um, that is what they would give you a lower interest rate so a lower interest rate you can decide to pay more money based on the calculation that they do they're going to go through your um, bank statements your they need your information about your salary to see if you're able to pay back that loan and you come to a decision like hey based on your um, your salary and all of that and five years to repay this is you know what you have to pay to us on a monthly basis and always always when you go through this ask for an amortization um, schedule so you know what you pay what you are going to pay each month and you can see um, the schedule of your loan okay so you need to be um, careful you need to be careful of the, the reps that you get from these financial institutions as well because I had a rep and she had no manners I, I didn't put her in her place still. she had no manners tell me that I asked too much question I asked what she said i asked too many questions or something i would read it to you what she sent me but yeah basically she was saying that i asked too many questions so i'm like what do you mean i asked too many questions it's my money and if i want to know how gold is made or where gold come from i have a right to it she thought i asked money i'm like people really going to financial institution and borrowing money and don't ask questions of how things would work or how what would go what or how things would work out you know so anyways so you decide on the loan you work it out the details with the financial institution and the bank and the bank transfer the money to them you need to sort out the insurance of the vehicle uh, so you would sort out insurance and give the insurance certificate to the dealer and the dealer would go ahead and sort out the registration of the vehicle and the fitness right at tax office and you don't have that you will never have the certificate of title until you complete paying off the vehicle then you get the title and you have to i think you have to apply for it i don't know that part yet don't be sure yet but yeah but that's all finished so that's the process so that's basically the process so what, what i'm going to say that people when people think of buying a vehicle they just think of okay i need to either save to buy a vehicle or take out a loan to buy a vehicle and that's it and that's where they stop like them thinking process their thought process like it stopped right there so done dusted like that's it but they forget that you need insurance every year for the vehicle or if you decide to do it you need to have a, some payment plan but you need to have insurance for the vehicle hmm? you need to have um, registration for the vehicle you need to do fitness for the vehicle you need to renew your driver's license you need to think about servicing the vehicle every three months or so and you need to think about buying parts for the vehicle you need to think about purchasing tires for the vehicle right and battery also because 
but is it to be changed too so people don't think about that so they can go oh i want a bmw when you buy the bmw you cannot maintain the bmw tires are expensive um insurance is expensive if you need to say hmm get a new battery you have to take into account all of that so when you go up and decide say i want you have to think about those things you have to but people you people don't normally think of those things i think okay i'm just going to buy a vehicle and that's you're going to drive it until it's done i don't need to do anything to it but you need to maintain it you need to service it keep it up so it keeps you or move you from point a to point b so people don't normally think of that so it's it, a vehicle is good because Dealing with Jamaican transportation system, taxi men and JUTC bus. <laughs> no, thank you. I do not miss those days. I honestly do not miss those days when I had to be sitting upon stand up on JUTC bus for three hours, especially when they were fixing Mandela. If you guys remember, when they were fixing the Mandela Highway, and there was a backed up traffic all the way up until what Don Robin. Yeah, and you had to be standing in the bus for three hours. No, I mean, had I had back back problem. <laughs> I had back problem. So imagine me standing in the bus for three hours. That was torture. It was torture, torture. But you have to think about these things. You know, have a goal, work out the goal, make sure it makes sense. You know, do your research, ask questions, and do not be afraid to ask questions. Don't let anybody say that I ask too many questions. Or your question is foolish. Well, it might be foolish to them, but it's not foolish to you. And once you ask it and you have better understanding and clarity, yeah, who business? Who cares what people think? People like to talk, you know, like to talk. They like to talk, they let that sound of their own voice. Yeah. So who cares? Because are they going to help you pay your insurance? When your insurance is $100,000 per month? Well, not per month. For the year, are they going to help you? Hmm? When you need four new pairs of tire, are they going to help you? Um, Four new pairs, what? <laughs> Two pairs of tires. Uh, <laughs> when you need four new tires, are they going to help you? When you need a new battery, are they going to help you? Hmm? When you need to retain your vehicle, are they going to help you? Are they going to help you? No, they're not. So why do you care? All you need to ensure is that the vehicle is reliable and you can take it from point A to point B. You don't business what people say, you don't business what people think. As long as you're happy in the vehicle, do not live to impress people. The surest way to be downtrodden or the surest way to your downfall is to care what people think and to care what anyone has to say that's the shortest way to your downfall and we're not doing that okay we're not doing that we're, we're just not doing that remember to like you know remember to comment and remember to subscribe if you haven't already and if it's asking you to sign into your google account to subscribe please do so and thank you very much just sign into your google account you know just sign into your google account and subscribe because if you're not signed in you won't be able to subscribe or like my video so please subscribe and like my video if it's asking you to sign in thank you thank you and also when you go to these financial institutions and you're signing these contracts read the contracts carefully hmm? read them very carefully you have to take into consideration also with these um high inflation the inflation that's going on right the cost of living has increased right interest rate has increased so boj increase interest rate gone up bank of jamaica so now financial institutions put up their interest rate what does that mean for your loan that means you are now going to have to pay more on a monthly basis for that loan the price remains the same you know because that's what you take out. You take out $3 million. $3 million is your, you assume your loan. $3 million is the loan. So you, the loan will always be that, right? And well, it's going to decrease on a monthly basis, yes. So the interest rate increasing doesn't change what you took out, the loan amount that you 
um, applied for and that you got. It doesn't change that. What it does is that it changed the amount that you would pay to the bank or to the financial institution on a monthly basis. And always, if you can, um, if you can, if you can, if you can, if you can, pay, if you have any extra money, you know, Christmas time come around, and you get a um, bonus from work, or any money that you didn't expect, or that is outside the norm of your salary, and you can put towards the loan, do so. But you have to go, this is a trick now, you have to read the contract carefully. When you are paying any additional money, right, on the loan, you have to go in the bank to do it. And to pay on the, when you're paying on the principal, you have to go in the bank. The principal decreases the loan drastically. And so, you're not paying the interest rate, you're just paying the principal like, okay. But if you, you get a loan, you understand. I wish I could show you what I mean. You have the principal, you have the interest, you know, so you pay on the principal decreases the loan. So, you know, they're losing money when you pay on the principal. So that's why they always say you have to come in branch to actually do that. Because sometimes you can't make it to the branch. Sometimes you're so tired with for work or something or you can't make it or, you know, you can't. So they always say come in branch, you know, to pay on the principal. Um, so you have to do that. So think about that. You know, if you can do it, pay on the principal, decreases the loan faster. You have less time to pay back the loan, and it helps. You know, you pay back less, so they in turn receive less money from you. You know, so leave in the comments below if you have any question about the whole purchasing a car situation in Jamaica, whatever it may be. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, and be careful of the. Be careful of whoever you do business with, whoever you decide to transact business with, um, the car dealership, financial institution. Uh, as again, I can't say this enough. Ask as many questions as you like. Research, Google, find questions, write them down, ask them, hear what they say. And remember, ask for an amortization schedule. Always ask for it. So you can see the breakdown of your loan, how much you would pay back on a monthly basis, and all of that. You know? Yeah, each one help one. I hope you found this um, video very informative. I hope you learned something from it. And I do thank you so very much for tuning in. And I'll see you next week for another video at 5 p.m. Jamaica time, as always every friday and thank you very much for watching to enjoy the rest of your evening afternoon morning or night whenever you're watching this video i appreciate you thank you very much and again remember to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you next week toodles bye